In early 2015, Wigan Warriors, an official technical partner, Araya, began the search to find a new kit design that would eventually be manufactured and worn by the club's under-19s academy side in 2016. This search was to take the form of a competition open to young Wigan fans who were challenged to come up with that design from scratch. Once all the entries had been received, a panel of all the stakeholders assembled to study each design and the best eight designers were invited to Central Park to put their offering to the five-man panel in a Dragon's Den style pitch. After careful consideration, deliberation and it's fair to say squabbling, the panel chose their winning design and designer, 11-year-old Connor Davis Aspey from Henley. So I had a thought, what do all these emotions, passion, commitment, dedication, excitement have in common? They make my heart beat. The, the warriors are always on my mind, from waking up to going to sleep. I love the adrenaline rush I get when I see the team play. To express, to express these feelings, I came up with the heartbeat design. As well as having his shirt worn by the under-19s in 2016, Connor's prize included a trip to Italy later in the year to see his design become a reality. He would be given a tour of the Araya factory in Palma, where he would see his design come to life. Fast forward to July and the time had finally come for Connor, his mum Hannah and dad Nick to make the 1600 kilometre journey to the headquarters of Araya in the beautiful city of Parma in Italy. Famous for its ham, cheese, architecture and music, Parma sits halfway between Bologna and Milan in the region of Emilia Romagna. Connor and his family arrived with temperatures reaching 38 Celsius, normal for this region of Italy at this time of year. <laughs> After a short drive from Milan's airport to Areas headquarters in Parma, Connor was eager to see how his design was beginning to take shape. So it was straight upstairs to the design office where he met Areas head of design who had been responsible for transforming Connor's original sketches into a fully functional CAD design ready for the printing of the sublimation papers. I just like, can't believe that I'll be my shirt being made and then being sold in the shops. There was just enough time for Connor to take a sneak peek at some of the other designers at work and glance at some of the other designs they were working on. However, Connor was keen to get down to the shop floor where he would finally see his design turned into a real shirt. That's good. So with the design completed and the sublimation papers ready, it was time to see the component pieces of the shirt printed. With the temperature already around the 38 Celsius mark, the next step of the process involved a machine that reaches temperatures in the region of 210 Celsius. So what they do now, okay, they print a different version of your shirt onto that piece of card. Okay? And this is the, um, the proper polyester fabric that we yeah. use for the match shirts. This was the first moment that Connor could actually see his design starting to take shape, particularly once he got hold of the rather hot front panel of the shirt. Next, the component parts of the shirt needed to be stitched together, so the parts were taken off to one of Araya's experienced seamstresses, who has been working for Araya for many years. Collar, sleeves, front and rear panels were all joined together. While the seamstress was working her magic, Connor, his mum and dad, went off to one of the air-conditioned rooms to cool down. After a few minutes in the much cooler showroom, there was a knock on the door and it was the moment that Connor finally got to see his design become a reality and become the owner of the first 2016 Wigan Warriors Academy shirt. It's good,